Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really festive name. At least I think it's pretty festive. Y'all like our little doodads I got for the St. Patrick's Day? It is officially St. Patrick's Day, huh? What? Yes, it's the 17th day of March. We are rolling along into this year, aren't we, boys and girls? All right, well, um, in lieu of not having bagpipes or any um, Irish uh, instruments, I'm just going to whistle. It's time for the checklist. 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 Just like this. Mm -mm. Oh no, my whistle must be broke tonight. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Well, yet another instrument that I have butchered my own whistle. That's terrible. I need to practice more and I should have moistened up or something. I don't know. Anyway, boys and girls, let's get into the checklist. Shall we? Don't mind me. I'm just silly like that. Well, did you have a wonderful dinner and is your bellies all nice and satisfied and you're full, right? You know, burp, farted, had a bowel movement, all that good stuff. Check. How about your chores? You get your house chores done. Make sure you get your house chores done. Whatever contribution you make to team family around the house, make sure you get your part done. Check. Homework, homework. Homework, homework. Get your homework done. Practice what you learn in school. Practice, practice that is cool. Practice homework. Get it done. Check. All right, we're moving along, moving along, moving on up. Did you pick out your clothes that you want to wear for tomorrow? You got to do that the night before so you don't have to worry about it in the morning. Check. Hmm. What else? You got your PJs? I'm not really in PJs, but I left on my St. Patrick's Day garb. Check it out. Ha <laughs> ha. My D, yes. So I'm, I'm like... I'm going to transition at some point to my actual PJs. This is not it. But in, in the spirit of the holiday, I decided I would be festive. So get your PJs together so that you're ready for bed. Check. All right, baths and showers. Are we fresh and clean and, and washed up from head to toe and ready to put on your PJs, first of all? Check lotion did you dry off really good so you can put your lotion on you know our skin is the biggest organ on our body hello yes yeah, sound real scientific and smart if you tell somebody that they might not know the skin largest organ on the body needs that lotion though it's a living part of us it needs lotion check ears you clean your ears you make sure you clean your ears out so you can hear good but besides hearing, just make sure you clean up any dirt and stuff that might be in your ears that builds up. Check. Did you brush your teeth? Are your teeth all shiny and glistening and gleaming? Jeez. You know, picture ready. Check. And did you floss in between those gaps in the teeth? Make sure you do that. Keep that floss on. Check. Did you brush, comb, part, grease, wrap, tie, put in a ponytail, bun, whatever. It's hot. Whatever hair you're dealing with, wrap it, tie it, uh, put it under a hat, whatever you need to do. Did you guys make sure you take care of your hair before you go to bed? Let's do that. Check. Nightlight, nightlight. Make sure you got a nightlight. It ain't right unless you got a nightlight. Check. All right, let's see, what else? Did you clean your room? Cause this is the chore that I always pull aside separate from all of the other house chores. Please make sure you clean your bedroom so you're not booby trapping yourself in the middle of the night while you're guided by the night light. Cause you ain't turning on the regular light as bright as it is like in here right now. Can't be in the middle of the night like 2.45 a.m. in the morning. Uh-uh. You, you got to follow the, the little 
you know, beacon of nightlight to make it to the bathroom. But you don't want to trip and fall and hurt yourself and stub your toe and all that. Make a lot of noise, rattling and knocking stuff over. So clean your room. Check. All right. What else? What else? What else? Because every, every time I want to add something to it, I'm like, dang, I got so much on the checklist. Now I just remind you guys, if your checklist is different from what I'm mentioning and if something I say is not on your list, but you have something different, make sure whatever your checklist is, your nighttime checklist, your bedtime routine checklist, make sure you get it done. Check. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you give your I love you's hugs, kisses, and smooches to your family members, your pets that live with you, and any friends or family members that are visiting that are there? Show them love too. Check. I think I covered pretty much everything. If I left something out, oh well, it is what I it is what it is. So the last thing is the most important thing. We have to say our prayers. Even if you're looking like I'm looking with all this green St. Patrick's Day on, you still gotta say your prayers. And give God thanks for all everything. Just make sure you do that before you go to bed. It'll seal the deal on a good night of sleep. Check. All right, boys and girls, can we get to the story, though, on this St. Patrick's Day? I've been reading a lot of those There Was an Old Lady books. <clears throat> I got one right now, so here it is. There was an old lady who swallowed a clover uh, by Lucille Colondro and illustrated by Jared Lee. And it's a scholastic book. You won't believe why this old lady swallowed a clover, a daisy, a butterfly, a bird, a pot, some gold, and a fiddle. We're going to read this book to find out. Bam! Yes, we are. We are on our move to see what that's all about. There was an old lady who swallowed a clover. Because St. Patrick's Day, of course you're going to swallow a clover. Ha <laughs> ha! Maybe it'll give her good luck. Here we go. There wasn't no lady who swallowed a clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. She did not roll over, boys and girls. Do you see this? Oh, we. There wasn't no lady who swallowed a daisy. She wasn't lazy when she swallowed the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. Okay. Oh, right. I see that. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. There wasn't no lady who swallowed a butterfly. She did not sigh when she swallowed the butterfly. Oh, man. She swallowed a butterfly. All the other butterflies are like, what is going on? Hey, lady, what are you doing? That's my cousin. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. That's a good thing. At least she didn't roll over. Roll over. Roll over. <laughs> There was no lady who swallowed a bird. It wasn't absurd when she swallowed the bird. Really? I don't know. I, I tend to disagree with that. I think it was a bit absurd. But they said it, it wasn't. So we're going to roll with that for story's sake. Mm -hmm. She swallowed the bird to glide with the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. Well, that's the good part. At least she didn't roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Good for her. There was an old lady who swallowed a pot. Believe it or not, she swallowed a pot. She swallowed a pot. Oh, man. She hungry. She greedy and hungry at the same time. She eating stuff she got on business. Eat. What is up with this old lady? She swallowed the pot to carry the bird. 
She swallowed a bird to glide with a butterfly. She swallowed a butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed a daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. She didn't roll over. That's good. She is not rolling over. All this stuff she swallowed. There was no lady who swallowed some gold. It wasn't cold. All that shiny gold. What? Hello? She swallowing gold now? That's what she doing? Oh, boy. Look at that. She swallowed the gold to fill up the pot. She swallowed the pot to carry the bird. Do you guys see this? This is something, isn't it? Mm. She swallowed the bird to glide with the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. Man. Y'all see this? She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. But she didn't roll over. That's the most important part, huh? That she didn't roll over. Mm, nice clover, I must say. There was no lady who swallowed a fiddle. It is a riddle why she swallowed the fiddle. Uh-huh. Why did the lady swallow the fiddle? What? The whole thing go. Do you guys see this? I don't know. This is some interesting books. <sighs> the old lady started to dance, and before she was done, a wee little leprechaun joined in the fun. Okay. Well, there we go. The wee little leprechaun joined in on the fun. All right. Guess I'm a leprechaun too. Huh? Don't I don't look like a leprechaun. As they twirled high and low, she giggled so much, out popped a rainbow. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. And you guys know that at the end of a rainbow, there's a pot of gold, right? The gold in the pot that the lady, that the old lady swallowed, right? Happy St. Patrick's Day! My goodness, that old lady has got to stop swallowing all of these things she should not be swallowing. But that is the end of quite a festive yet interesting, perhaps even confusing <laughs> story. All right, boys and girls, there it is. St. Patrick's Day in a nutshell. And now it is up to us to get ready for our bedtime to sleep tight. So we have to dream our special dream. So let's get ready. Are you in bed with your PJs on, your cuddle buddies all tucked in, snug as a bug in the rug, all cuddled up, nice and comfy and cozy? All you have to do at this point is close your eyes, whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about, whatever that may be. It's all up to you. And just relax and be safe and sound in your bed, in your room. No worries, no problems. Just allow yourself to drift off to sleep so that you can Dream your special dream. All right, boys and girls, let me let you get to that. And I'm going to actually put my actual PJs on and get out of my festive garb and go to bed too. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.